everybody, welcome back to Darlingborough Model Railway. I'm Richard. Regular viewers will have probably noticed a distinct lack of videos on my channel over the last few weeks. Firstly, I do apologise about that. Basically, I've not been well. Um, I've had a really bad chest infection, so I've been trying to just kind of keep out the shed a little bit. And I've just been basically just looking after myself. My health, obviously, is more important than posting videos. So I do apologise, but I am still alive. I haven't died of COVID or anything like that. Um, and obviously I will be posting more videos uh, in the upcoming future. However, I have not been sat on my hands. I have actually been working on a few side projects. Now, one of them I actually mentioned that I was going to start this year um, when I did my New Year sort of resolutions. And that was my Giver unit. Now, as well as being into model railways, I'm actually into science fiction, in particular um, stuff from like the 1980s, 1990s. It was a good era. One of the franchises that I like is called The Giver. Now, you may or may not have heard of it. It is originally from the 1980s. It started off as a Japanese anime. It kind of started off as a comic. It was turned into a sort of animated movie and then obviously became a live action movie. One of the things I'm planning on building is my interpretation of a Giver unit. Now I've got a rough prototype here which I'll be working on. It's going to include lighting, it's going to include some sound effects as well um, and basically it's going to be completely built from scratch. Don't worry it'll be better looking than this. I mentioned at the beginning of the year that I'd actually started uh, mocking up a rough prototype just using some cardboard. Well in the last few weeks I've actually spent a bit of time and I've actually started to build the actual unit that I'm going to be creating. Now, I've not filmed any of it, and a lot of it has just been basically me playing around with some ideas. I've not kind of filmed it because it's not really a tutorial. It's me kind of just having a go at some ideas. So far, the model has become a piece of wooden structure. Um, which I've just done using some plywood and some offcuts of wood. This is actually going to be the final piece. And as you can see, it's fairly large. And it's got some wires hanging out of it because it's going to have some electronics and some lights and hopefully some sound effects as well. I have also been on my laptop learning a little bit of programming, computer programming. And I've just been kind of playing around with that a little bit. Kind of just getting my head around how to program it. So far I've managed to get some LED lights going on and off, which is great. I will do a little bit more of an in-depth video, um, obviously in the upcoming future. If you guys want me to, um, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if this is a side project that you would be interested in watching, um, as well as obviously the model railways. Um, as I say, it's one of my other creative outlets that I enjoy doing. And I'd be happy to share my progress with you, not a problem. On top of that, I've also taken a few evenings and I've just been playing around with some air drying clay, just creating some sculptures really, just to have a little bit of a play. Obviously indoors where I'm a little bit warmer and I've not got the chest infection that's kind of killing me being triggered while I've been in the shed. It's given me the chance to actually have a play with a different material, get some ideas going. Um, I've been practicing some painting as well away from the channel away from the layout away from the shed um, so far as you can see the shed hasn't really changed um, since the last video there's maybe a couple more shelves up I have got a new handle on the door which is great I bought that sort of fairly cheaply the other day and other than that yeah it's still a tip it's still upside down um, I have got some shelving to finish off which again I will get round to probably off camera so you don't watch the same content over and over again so I do apologize obviously not much of an update but I have a dilemma which to be honest I would like your opinion on over the last few weeks my missus and I have been talking about our plans for um, the garden. We were planning on building a large shed which we were going to turn into an office so that we can set up a business. Plans have changed. Um, we are still going to be doing the business. I'm not going to go into too much detail. But 
the idea of the large shed is still on the table but for me <laughs> I have got the possibility um, that as long as I sort it out and I arrange it and I organize it I could actually have a fresh new shed for the model railway for the layout um, which would basically be at double the sort of size that I'm in now now I'm currently in an eight foot by six foot shed um, but my missus has given me the green light that as long as I sort it out I could potentially have a eight foot by 12 foot shed so literally double the size of what I've got now but potentially it could take me quite a while to kind of get all that arranged i've got a little shed i need to get emptied get it dismantled get shot of it i've got a load of paving slabs that would need to be moved from one end of the garden where we were going to have the shed to the other and then i'm going to have to source wood build it get it insulated and get in now i'll be honest it could be six months it could be a year before i'm even ready to sort of look at setting up some baseboards or setting up a, a layout it might even be longer the question is do i put darlingborough model railway layout as it is at the moment which i'll be honest isn't very far on hold focus on the new shed get that up and running and then get back in or do i continue working on the layout as it is in this shed here as well as working on the larger shed and then maybe dismantle it all and move it into a larger shed further down the line six months a year down the line once i actually have some space let me know in the comments down below what would you do would you carry on regardless would you put the layout on hold and focus on getting a new shed would you do both <laughs> Um, it would be really interesting to know your, you know, your input. Don't forget, you can leave a comment down below or you can also contact me using the various social media channels that I have got running. Also, if you are maybe interested in helping contribute to this brand new venture, um, then you can buy me a coffee as well. A little bit of details are down there. Um, I would appreciate it. I really would appreciate your feedback. So, yeah. Um, in the meantime here's some more videos that i've made in the past uh, for you to catch up on see you again soon